right. I think we're live. Hello. I'm popping in a minute early so that I can cough because you know how I like to cough as soon as I go live. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, hello, there I am. Okay, it's working. I'm trying something new. Oh my goodness. I am live on YouTube as well right now. Trying something new because, you know, can't stand still for too long. Um, right. So I am streaming to Facebook as well as to uh, YouTube, my YouTube channel, which is Tamara's Paper Trail. If you haven't subscribed to that, please do so. Um, I have no idea how that's going to look. <laughs> I don't know if people are going to be commenting over on YouTube. I have no idea how or when or why or how I'm going to see that. I'm going to check it out though. You know me. I don't, um, I don't do a lot of research. I just press buttons and see what happens. And last week I pressed a button and it said go live, but there's a little new, a new little section and it said, um, so it said add a channel. So I clicked on that and it went, oh, I could stream this to YouTube and to Facebook at the same time. So I'm trying that tonight. So hello, welcome, wherever you're watching me. Uh, you're on Tamara's Paper Trail. I am Tamara. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I am from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Um, give me a hidey ho. If you've watched before, you know the drill, right? Give me a hidey ho. Let me know who's watching, who's playing, who's crafting, who's here to heckle, who's here just for the community, who's here to see what the heck, what is this lady all about? <laughs> um, I see a but holy cow, we've got a lot of, look at there's 26 of you. I wasn't sure if there was going to be, um, a lot of viewers tonight. I almost canceled tonight. I know, I know. I say Mondays are sacred and they are, but then, you know, it's a holiday and Tamara gets a holiday too, right? And then I, well, what am I going to do with it? <laughs> if I, if I don't work, then maybe I have to clean and I, that wasn't an option. So I whipped up this, uh, this great layout that I found. Gosh, I had a card, this, a similar layout pinned. It's been there for years and I fell in love with it. So I came down here and I whipped it off and then I still, I went to Costco and I, What's going on here? Um, I did <laughs> squirrel. You know it's time for Tamara to get a haircut when she gets the double glasses going on. This is my headband, right? So it's time for a haircut. But my hairdresser's on vacation. Anyway, so welcome. Look at all you people. Welcome, welcome. So yeah, I decided no. Um, I'm I'm going live tonight because you know I love my Mondays as much as you guys do. Um. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at I can't even. Hello, hello, hello. I see. Oh, yeah, right, Ida? This is bizarre. This is new for me. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I can see it on your feed. It shows as YouTube. I do all three. Look at that. Cindy, you're well ahead of, way ahead of the curve. Um, you're way ahead of me. I've never really had the desire to go live to YouTube. I guess fear. Fear of the unknown? I don't know. I've like I love my gaggle and I I guess I just need to embrace more people <laughs> and the, the new gaggle. Um, it's always been a really small community. We're, we're pushing out the boat now. We're going to see what we can do. Anyway, so if you're new, let me know. Give me a hidey ho. Let me know where you're from. Cindy is ready to play. Hi, Sheila and Kara. Hello, all of you. I've missed all your names and I don't need to. Chris Stone's from Australia. Chris. All right. The screaming goat needs a new, cow, uh, new uh, battery. But hey, I have a new toy. Thank you to my friend Heather. Oh, that was easy. There we go. I got an easy button. <laughs> I have the best friends, you guys. Hey, there you are, Bernadette. You are an hour early, girl. You are an hour. Oh, she's on YouTube. Oh, my gosh. Bernadette, you are my first live YouTube call. Okay, this is cool. Cindy, Cindy, look at that. Okay, so, yes, I see what you mean now. So, there's a little, the little YouTube. <sighs> I think I'm going to like this. I think I'm going to like this. Ah, excellent. Okay. Reel it in. Reel it in, Tamara. If this is your first time watching me, well, yeah, giddy up. Uh, buckle up because, um, yeah, you, you, <laughs> it's unique. Okay. A couple things I'm going to go over. Um, if you've been before, you know what's going on. I go through a few minutes of what's coming down the line uh, with my classes and such. So if you're in Canada, I have online classes. This first one is Little Dreamers. It is coming up fast, you guys. It is September 1st. Okay, I get it now, Cindy. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, this one's September 1st. Can you believe the first week of August is already over? Hi, MJ. Excellent, Melanie. You just chill along, and you're going to want to do this layout. You're going to want to keep this one. 
Little dreamers, if you're in Canada, you can take my virtual class. There are three options available to you. You can take it with the bundle. Yes, you are amazing. You are Bernadette. You just don't know your time zones. <laughs> We're mountain time, so I'm the same as Utah. Little dreamers, September 1st. Three options with the bundle. Porch pickup is $80. Long distance is $90. You have the option of taking it with uh, just purchasing the stamp set because you do need the stamp set. Uh, $45, $55 for long distance, or you can take just the cards for $40. Oh, Mary's on YouTube. I'm so excited, you guys. Cool. Cool. Very cool. So cool. I have a love-hate relationship with technology. I thought maybe I better start delving back um, into YouTube a little bit more in case Facebook decides it doesn't like me sometime. You know, you never know, right? You never know. Anyway, these are the three cards we are making in the, no, nope, not those, no. Nope. <laughs> these are the three cards for September 1st, virtual card class. Take it. You should take it with me. I'm a hoot. Here's the next one, Darlene Details. It is the next weekend, September 8th, which is a Friday. Uh, this one, these are the three cards we're making. I kind of freaking love. <laughs> I'm hyper tonight, Jennifer. I know I'm really hyper tonight. I might have had some, I might have had some Tic Tacs. Like, oh, anyway. Look, look at these cards. This, this was a sleeper set. I'm like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I love it. I freaking love it. Look, look. Oh, the eyelet. I love, this is so, it is, it is darling. It's dainty. It's darling. And anyway, you should take this class too. You should take them all. All of my classes you should take. They're fun. 90, okay, it's not my fault. Look, the bundle is like a $73 bundle. So by the time you throw in tax and shipping, it's like $90. 90, 100 long distance, 45 for just the stamp set, 55 for long distance, $40 for just the cards. Let's move on. <laughs> all right. Right, Kathy? The dies are all that and a bag of chips. Look at these dies, you guys. Let's show, let's show them. The, Kathy, let's show them. Look at all the dies. That's why it's so expensive. But now how am I going to get that all back in? Kathy, look what you made me do. I blame Kathy. <laughs> hey, Chris. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. It's a, it's a great one. It's a sleeper but it's a keeper. Oh, I like that phrase. <laughs> okay. Let's make some cards, you guys. So, and then we'll talk, you know, like if you're, okay, I know the two of you who are watching me on Facebook, Bernadette and Mary, <laughs> are on um, YouTube. So the rest of you, I'm sure you've been here before. <sighs> this, I have no idea who I cased this card from because they didn't watermark it. Ladies and gentlemen, you got to watermark your stuff because here comes Tamara like four or five years later and I'm copying your card and I can't give you proper credit for it, but it's a, it's a good one. I like it. So Miss Kitty is going to help us out tonight. We're going to make two cards. I'm going to make 14 cards. Maybe not in this one hour, but I've prepped for 14. Never notice the dies. Right, Jennifer? It's fabulous. You should check it out. Hi, Stacy. Never seen my nails. as I know, but you know what? Okay, this is actually a color. This is called Champagne Toast. I know, they look naked, right? But they're not. Because I can't have naked. But this one, my one of my favorite nails. We won't do it, but one of my favorite nails. <laughs> These ones were crap. Anyway. I'm placing an order tomorrow if anybody wants to buy any nail polish stuff. Apparently, I have until the end of August to hit my quota. <laughs> I guess I'm buying a lot of nail polish. Anyway. My guilty foot. Stop talking. Tamara, focus. Reel it in. Miss Kitty. Two card bases, eight and a half by five and a half. We're going to cut two of them. That's what I did. There we go. Lord help anybody who is just stumbling across me right now. Lord, they're going to think, what the? Where'd the cat come from? Oh, I don't know. Where did I get this cat from? Michael's, maybe? I don't know. He's my pen. He's my kitty pen. My kitty pen. Okay. Jennifer, don't throw me off my game, honestly. <laughs> Thanks, Lillian. <laughs> Here we've got two cards, so because we're making two cards, cardstock layer, five by three and three quarter. Cut two of them. If you want to step this card up, that means make it fancy. Make it fancy. You're going to run these through an embossing folder. Okay. Uh, trimmer, usual tools and embellishments, and Mr. Smiley Face. We just have a little smiley face, right? Aw, thanks, Melanie. <laughs> I, I, I say, you guys just pop in to make to make you feel better about your lives <laughs> and to make you feel more normal because holy cow, if I can make it in this world, I think anybody can. <laughs> I got, I got the squirrels are running in my brain today. Okay. Focus strips. Nope. What are we doing? Designer paper strips, six inches long by three quarter inches wide. Now I said cut six of them. 
So you had options here, and I hope my notes made sense. You could have used all of one sheet of designer paper. So let's just say you used this. You could cut all six of them from a six by six, and you could have all of the strips in the same color. I did not. I grabbed my brights, my pack of brights. Let me show you. Tracy tuned me. Now you guys are going to ask for a link. I don't have one handy, but I can always get you one. Tracy found these great six by six little sleeves. I'm kind of, I don't want to say obsessed because everybody's like, I'm obsessed. Okay. I love them because now I've got nice little sleeves for all of my six by six. They're not just rolling around in the loose cellophane. So they're, they're nice. I could send you a link there from Amazon. I grabbed six sheets and I chopped up the entire sheet in three quarter inch strips. And uh, just, to, well, I'll prove it to you later. I've got them over there. So these are six by three quarter. This one I got a little carried away. <laughs> okay, there are six of them. You could use just five if you wanted to. However, okay, everybody's gone all quiet now. Okay, get out your trimmers. Friends, get out your trimmers because we're gonna. Oh, and you also need like some strips or some die cuts for your sentiments. Okay, all right. We are gonna chop these in half into three inch strips. Okay, and to make our two cards. So because these are designer paper, I've got my little tiny trimmer. You can use your uh, the, our standard trimmer, and you can cut two pieces at a time because it's so thin. Like it's not. You can do it. Tamara gives you permission to cut two pieces at once. One embossing folder, whatever you want, whatever you want, Cindy. I used, um, on the first one, actually, I didn't use one. And on the second one, I used the um, the bubbly one, polka dotty one. And then the rest I did, like I prepped for 14, I'm not even kidding you. So I did this one on one, but I'm finding it hard to um, attach things to it. So I switched to my other favorite, you know, my other favorite, the hashtaggy one, wherever that one went. Whatever it is. You know the one I mean, the hashtag. This one, I'll show this, I don't know where it went. Where did it go? I had it out. Anyway, I use this one, but you use whatever you want. What do you like? Okay, so we've chopped them into three inch chunks. Now, here we go. Ready for this? Cross hatch? Yeah, that's the one. All right, so let's fart. Let's not fart. Let's fold our card bases in half. I'm excited about this whole YouTube thing, you guys. Do you think they will bring back the little trimmer? No, I don't. But they don't consult me on these things, Mary. You can find them. Some people do sell them. Not me. Okay, we've got our card bases. We have our layers. So I'm going to start with the most simple layout. Here we go. Um, I'm even going to, let me look at my original. I'm going to tape this down. Am I going to tape it down flat? I am. I want to, I want to prove to you that you can make a nice card without. Thank you, Tracy. Hello. I was going to message you, Tracy, going, hey, are you okay? <laughs> I haven't heard a peep from you today, nor have I peeped. And that's not like us. And, um, anyway, I'm taping this down. Um, I, I. I'm not one. I don't have anxieties. I, I'm blessed that I don't suffer from anxiety. Today, I have been anxious AF. I've just, I've been out of sorts. And when that happens to me, I get really nervous because generally that, that something's not right with my people. I don't know what people and I don't know what's wrong, but something in my universe is off. And it's, I've been very uncomfortable all day. So Tracy, you were going to be my first text after, after the show to make sure that everybody was okay. I've already texted mom and dad. My mother did not respond for an hour. Not happy about that. Cause all of a sudden I'm like, okay, it's been an hour. Where are you? You don't go anywhere. What's going on? She was on the, uh, on the patio <laughs> having a chat with the neighbors. Um, anyway, hi Tracy. Thanks for the link. That's the YouTube link or the, that's the uh, Amazon link. Amazon link to the six by six thingies that I just showed you. Okay. Hey Liz, how are you? Okay. Oh, I am keyed up. Am I keyed up or what? Okay. So we have our six little chunks of paper. Now, Donna, are you in the house tonight? Because Donna's going to be palpitating now um, because they're, she wants there to be five and I didn't do it to be mean. 
I do agree that when it comes to design, generally we want to work in odd numbers. However, tonight I went with six. So I'm sorry, Donna, I don't mean to throw you into uh, chaos, but anyway. So I just came up with my six different patterns of brights and I'm just laying them out with the pattern I want up. And of course, I'm doing it exactly the way I did this afternoon. <laughs> just head down, arse up, working to catch up from very necessary and lazy weekend. Good for you, Tracy. I didn't do a whole lot either. And maybe that's why I was anxious. I don't know. Maybe because I'm so caught up, I don't know what to do with myself. I don't know. I don't know. It's just weird. It's just very, very weird. Okay. So these are the six papers I'm going to use on each of my cards. I've got my layers taped down. And I'm not going fancy. I'm just going basic. Now you just get to have fun. And so what I was trying to say before I went off on a squirrel tangent is you don't have to have all of the dyes, all of the um, embossing folders, all of the stuff. Flip over the purple hearts. They are freaky hearts. They are a little weird. I know they're a little odd, but okay. I'll do one for Jennifer like that. Or maybe do I need to have two weird hearts there? <laughs> we'll do that. Okay. We'll do one of each. It's freaking out Jennifer. They are weird. Um, just to prove to you that all you need is paper and some ink. Like you don't, you don't have to have all the things. It's nice to have all the things, but I'm going to show to you with, with just scraps that are on your desk, which is kind of, you know, what I had lying around, um, that you can have a great card. So let me show you what my layout is. The first one that I did, I simply took and I just laid down my strips in a variety of, did I do this? Wait, I'm just going to measure. This doesn't look right. This looks a little bit too, you know what? I think I did cut these down to three quarters less two ticks. I did. That's okay. So these ones, I told you to go three quarters. So maybe you could do just five strips. Um, Donna would be very happy if there's only five. It's going to be hard. You're going to be hard pressed to fit six on with this. But if you trim these down, two ticks. So if you take off two ticks, then you'll be able to get all six in, but you can, you don't have to, you can just go with five and then you can have two left over. But I just laid mine down like this to fit on my paper. And then I taped them down. It was so ridiculously easy. That's my layout. That's it. That's all. Then you can grab a flag. You can grab a sentiment. You can grab anything and tape those down. There's your card. You can take, let's see, so these ones, these are a little bit big at three quarters, but that's okay. You can go just up and down. You can have them all the same height. You can have them different heights, right? Like you just, now you're just playing to get them on your paper. And if you put them closer together, maybe you can get all of them on there. I don't know. Let's see. I guess you can. Yes, you could. Right? So there's a layout. Put a sentiment here. Look, here's a sentiment. Celebrate. Boom. You've got a card. You could, we could, I was thinking about this after, like when I was eating dinner, I'm like, Hey, why don't we try to like weave them a bit? So you could take these, like, this is kind of all the rage, isn't it? All this, this woven business. I don't know. You can kind of weave them and stamp a sentiment or something. Boom. There's a layout. Look how much you can do just with, hey, Teresa, just with some strips of paper. Should I tape these down? What, what do we think of this? I think this is kind of cool, but I agree. I don't like the, the hearts on this one. That's a little weird. Let's go like this. Flip these guys over. Oh, that's too many of those hashes together. Let's go like this. We'll do them in a different... Like, you can just do anything to fill the space. Go like that. I think that's enough. And then you could stamp over here. Right? Thanks, Je sorry, Jennifer. Didn't mean to freak you out either. <laughs> Isn't that fun? And you could put that right in the middle. So like, I think I kind of want to play with this a little bit. Um, we could put them tied up against each other put them right up against each other and then maybe I can fit this guy in here. I've seen a lot of kind of woven 
Oh, okay, right. Like if I were to do it properly, I don't know what I'm doing now. Okay, then this one, maybe I'll go like this. I've never done anything like this on a card before. First time for everything, right? And then this one can go, no, one, one, two, three, four. Okay, that is my six colors. Anyway, you can make that work somehow. I can't. <laughs> what else could we do? We could, um, I don't know, could lay them down this way and use as many as you like like that. Whatever will fit, whatever patterns you like. I need them to scooch. One, two, three, four, five. Can't do that. We don't want to upset Jennifer. We could fit five that way if we try. I like my original one. I like my angle one. Okay, so. Do I, okay, I want to play. I know. Oh, hey, Heather. Hey. That was easy. Huh? Huh? Heather? My easy button. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you. So I'm going to show you my other layout that I like better. So this was the easy one. So here we go. By the magic of television. <laughs> so here's the layout I did originally. Now these, okay, so these were three quarter inch and I took off two ticks. So they're actually, what is that? Seven eighths? Where's my new Donna, my Donna number two ruler? How do I read this? Like this. Okay, so um, it wasn't three quarters. It was five eighths of an inch. So Donna got me this new ruler. There's like, it's got a, oh, okay. It wants to focus on this. It's not one inch. Oh, focus. Come on. Anyway, I have like a, a ticky ruler now. There we go. It's not three quarters. It's five eighths. This is another one here. Take a screenshot if you want this ruler. That's from, Am oh, it's from Amazon as well. There we go. Focus. What is wrong with you? Let's try to focus on this other stuff, I think. No? Don't want to? Don't want to. There we go. Screenshot. Yep, birthday candles. Okay, anyway, so that's like the five, it was five eighths is what these are. Yes, you can make these into candles. So this has six, one, two, three, four, five, six of the strips. Now I just added a little bit of ribbon to that and I added some pearls. These are the 2022, 2024 in color pearls. And they're not these colors. These are brights, but they work. They totally work. So that's that layout. Now I wanted to step it up a bit. These are, this is fantastic. It's great. It proves that you don't have to have all the things. Uh, do I have an issue using the cross the crosshatch? No. Do you, Cindy? Do you have an issue with that? We've uh, that uh, embossing folder. Hi, Mary Punches from California. See, if you have a unique name, I'm going to remember where you're from, right? <laughs> all right, here, I'm going to show you another layout because this one is all that a bag of chips for me this is up this is stepped up so here we go it's 722 I've cut for like 14 of these um because I just chopped up the entire piece of um designer paper and I prepped 14 of my layers and I guess I need a whole bunch of these now this only took me an hour to prep I'm not even kidding you um this whole bucket. So I sat here, I came down at six o'clock and I grabbed, so this is a stepped up version. I grabbed my, my favorite dies. You guys, you know, I use these every week, stylish shapes. And I grabbed this one. Where does that tape? I hear you cry. This is my, uh, my low tack post-it tape, Amazon or Staples. And I cut out from those three quarter inch strips because I could show you my garbage can. I cut them all out into this banner flaggy thing. Then, okay, you can go away now. Oh, I guess I missed a couple. Anyway, then I cut out all of these sentiments. Put this away before I lose it. Don't want Donna to get something. There we go. Um, so I cut out all of the word celebrate and all of these white, oh, that's not a good idea. All of these white backgrounds. So you see for this card, the happy birthday. The happy birthday is in black, but behind it, there is white. So can you show the ruler again? Sure, you bet, Cindy, if I can find it. Here it is. Okay, so screenshot that. 
you should be able to get the number. Mm -hmm. Um, Connie, hello. I I mail them. I send out a lot of cards. I send out birthday cards. Uh, yeah, I send out like 15, 20 birthday cards every month. Um, if I do have stuff left over at the end of the year, I donate them generally to my mom's church. This year I might donate them to maybe the Humane Society. Rebecca works there and they've got their, um, their store there. So I might donate them there. Um, yeah, stuff like that. Okay. So to get this look, I wanted to show you what's going on here. So these are some new dies. They are called Wanted, they are called Wanted to Say. Uh, and they are just words. They're a standalone set of dies. And this one says, feel better soon, and the background. This one says, you're too kind, and the background. And the ones I used, um, there is a happy birthday, that looks like this. And there's a celebrate that looks like this. So I cut up all the backgrounds in white. You didn't need to see me do that. But literally, this only took me one hour to cut all this. All of this. One hour. Mind you, I'm a machine. Like, I can mass produce like a boss. Cut out all the whites. Then I cut the black with the detailed one. So I want to show you how to do that. Um, because I know some of you are new uh, to stamping, you're new to me, and you might never have used um, our adhesive sheets. And if you haven't, you are missing out. This is a staple in any craft room. These adhesive sheets, they're a great big sheet of adhesive. Like they're just like this in a sheet form. And it turns any of your die cuts into a sticker. Okay? A sticker. So let me show you how to do that. They come in 12 inch, uh, 12 inch sheets, 12 by six. So I cut immediately, I'll cut off one inch. So it's 11 inches. And then I cut them into strips. Um, the black I used one and one and two ticks. So one and an eighth. And then I cut the, um, the adhesive sheets, just a, a tick less. So this is one and a tick is what it is. I know, right, Connie? I don't know how I lived without them. So I have chopped mine already and I, I did most of them, but I saved one to show you. So you want to peel off, like you have to, if you're lucky, you've got a seam here and you can take this, this part off a little bit. If you're not lucky, you might have to do this on the corner for about five minutes until, <laughs> until it comes apart. And you're just going to peel back this little, a little section of this, um, the waxy paper. So this is sticky. You can see it's all gummy and goopy and yucky. And you're going to stick it onto this black strip. Now you're not going to go like this and then, and then attach it that way, because I can almost guarantee you're going to get it crooked. <laughs> so what you're going to do, this is the sticky part. You're going to, and this is all, this is the wax paper. It's not sticky yet. Cause we haven't really, we haven't revealed it. We haven't pulled it back. So you're going to take this and you're going to line it up at the bottom. And you're just, you're going to lay it where you want it to be ultimately. And you work your way up. And there's a, there's a name for this. Somebody told me a couple of months ago, there was a name for this. I don't know what it is. So it's not stuck. It's not stuck down. It's not sticky. We're just placing it this way, like this, working our way up. And then when you get to the top, this part is sticky. So you go, Oh, you gotta make the noise. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, a pokey tool. Well, Connie, why would I think of that? <laughs> All right. So this part is stuck, right? The rest is flapping in the wind. So you lift this up and now you grab these little tails and you just stick it as you pull it and it's going to be centered. The number of times I did it crooked <laughs> and then I ended up with, you know, no, no, nothing sticky over here and then too much over here and it stuck to my desk. It was ridiculous. Okay. Now you take this, you take your celebrate, you put it on like that. You run it through your machine and you end up with this. Now on the back of it, it's the, it's this part and it's not sticky until you reveal it, like take it off. So you could use your pokey tool at this point. Usually I just kind of hold on to a, hold on to it and flick it with your nail. It'll come off and you're going to peel off this wax paper. Try to be a little gentle. Like you don't want to, you don't want to rip like the words. They're, they're not too, too delicate, but now they're sticky. So 
You don't want to be putting your big old mitts all over it. Okay, that's your garbage. Now, it didn't take off. You see in the L and in the E, those parts were supposed to come off and it didn't. So you can take your pokey tool or you can just stick it to your finger. And then it should come off. There we go, like that. So there are those little things and it'll be stuck to you <laughs> forever. Now you're going to stick this onto your white layer. So you're going to center it on the white. And now you can just kind of move it around so that it's centered in the white. And it is just so striking. So striking. I love it so much. I love it so much. So now I'm going to do like 14 of these. Because I cut them all. Like, honestly, you guys, one hour to prep all this. And I'm going to have 14 cards. I like the Celebrate because I can use it for... Um, my team rewards, uh, when I send my team cards celebrating their achievements or, you know, celebrating anything like uh, an anniversary, um, but it also works for a birthday. So I found I've got a million thank you cards and I'm like, I need birthday and congratulations. And so, so the celebrate is perfect. So I'm not going to make you watch me do all 14 of them because yawn, <laughs> Right? Look at that. So, so cool. All right. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this Celebrate. I'm going to fold my card base in half. Bone folder. Nobody else is on Facebook. Eh? I've only got, or on, um, maybe I've got 56 eyes on me. I wonder if that's 56 Facebook eyes or is that adding in the YouTube? Look at Heather's is watching me on YouTube. So cool. I wonder if that number guess I'll find out. I'm very excited to look at my stats later. Okay. So I brought in, um, I'm bringing in my crosshatch. I'm going to find my uh, dimensionals and my pokey tool. This thing saves my nails. Did I mention? I think I did mention. I'm placing an order, I think tomorrow. If anybody needs their polish gel moment, I am a rep for that. And you could be, um, Australia, uh, USA and Canada. You can all shop for me. It's not like Stampin' Up! You have to stick to your own country. Um, yeah, it's gel polish. So if you're interested, I have a page. I have Tamara's, Tamara's Pretty Nails is the name of my page. All right, so I'm sticking these on with dimensionals. Now, I can't find my card. <laughs> Where's my other card? Here it is. All right. So I used the, whatever this is, the bright. So this is the, um, I don't know what color red that is. That is uh, Melon Mambo. She said confidently going, do we still have Melon Mambo? No. Do we? What is that? Lipstick. No, that's, yeah, Melon Mambo. We do. Do we? Don't we? I don't know. I should know. I don't know. All right. Focus. Bertram, focus. So these, now, yes, this is a lot of die cutting. I die cut two at a time. Because again, we're working with designer paper and it's quite thin and it didn't compromise the stitching at all. I ran through two at a time. Sorry. Sorry, Jennifer. It's going to have to be. So when I do this layout, I am able to get all six of them across and I'm going to lay them down. I'm going to put them the same height. These three are going to be the same height and then these three are going to be lower but the same height. Now this is the part that takes me forever because I'm a little anal when it comes to uh, they have to be spaced evenly. So I'll fiddle with this for a minute till I think they're pretty close. Then I'll probably sneeze and then they'll go flying. So that's the way it rolls. Now I'm sorry if you're commenting. I'm focused. Nothing shall break my focus. Oh, somebody commented. I saw it. Something broke my focus. <laughs> All right. So like this. Now, uh, I think I'll use glue just because I will. Hmm. What? To catch you live. My show is now on at 10 Eastern to show me off. Excellent, Mary. Well, and you know you can always watch the replays, right? Okay, so I'm going to use glue. Um just because it's going to attach better. Again, you've heard me say before, when you have 
such an embossed piece as this. Like it's highly embossed. Highly embossed. There's a lot. It's, yeah, it's, I want to say compromised. Our tape, it doesn't adhere as completely as the, as the liquid glue will. So actually this one, you know what? I'm, this one I'm going to pop up on dimensionals. I'm going to be a little crazy here because I know how my layout looks. So I'm going to put this one up on dimensionals. You nut. What? Dimensionals? Crazy. I went to the movies. Can't even tell that's on dimensionals. I went to the Barbie movie with my daughter and one of my besties. It was so good, you guys. It was so good. I would see it again. That was the wrong side, Tamara. Oh, well. It's that side now. Um, it was such a good movie. And I ate all the popcorn because it was like $33 for two things of popcorn. So, yeah, I was eating every last kernel. Then I wanted to throw up, but I really enjoyed it at the time. So that's two movies in like two weeks for me, which is crazy because I hadn't gone to a movie in like four years. Do, do, do. Thanks, Mary. All right. So here we go here. So this layout, I love, I love, love, love. I love it. This one, you can't even tell it's popped up. So I won't do that again. Now, where's my celebrate? Celebrate good times, come on. All right. Pop him up. And then this one I'm going to chop. This drives me a little crazy when I have to cut a small dimensional. But anyway. I can do it. I'm gonna do oh, I am so sorry, you guys. So on Saturday, Craig and I went over to Mom and Dad's and did some yard work. And I was doing fine. I'm like, that's fine. I can weed. I can bend. I can bend like a boss. And uh, I did. And then I thought, okay, I'm starting to get a little bit sore. That's enough. I don't want my back all crazy. My back is fine. Oh my gosh. I can barely stand up. The backs, like from my knee up to my butt. Um, so sore. So sore. I can barely bend over. Like walking the dog and cleaning up after him was interesting. I had to do like a sumo squat to get down there. It was ridiculous. I am so sore just from a little bit of weeding. I hate yard work. All right. We're going like this. Is that you, Koda? Oh, it is you. Hi. You heard me talking about you? All right. Look at this, you guys. I love that. Oh, hi, Alyssa. <laughs> yeah, it was a great movie. It was a great movie. Okay. Now, I'm coming in with my other, like, longtime favorite embellishments. So, I've probably bought seven packages of this. And you can see, like, I don't want to run out of these things. I love them. Love them. Where? Wait. Wait. Oh, bending. See, I can't even bend. Okay, I need... Come on. All right, here we go. So, what did I do on these ones? I used these. So these are the glossy and no glossy dots assortment. Okay. These are bugging me. Ow. Stuck in my hair. Yeah. Like I say, you can tell when I need a haircut. Hurry home to me, Elaine. I need a hairdo. Okay. So I'm going to use my pokey tool and I'm using the big dot for the purple. This is gorgeous grape. I'm going to put that over here. Then I am going to use, this is, I want to say lovely lipstick, but I don't know. Another big one. I'm going to put that over there. Then I'm going to use the blue one, which is, I don't know what it is. And it's not the same color as this. I don't care. Wild and crazy. Now you can stop at three, but I wanted to do two more. So I grabbed my yellow ones, the small, the medium one, I think. And I don't have a green and I don't have an orange. So I just grabbed my blends and I can make them any color I want. Hi, Annie from Waterloo, Indiana. Welcome. How are you? Is it a long weekend in the States? It's a long weekend here in Canada. Okay, I'm going to use, I'm going to use the middle. No, I'm going to use the small one. So I'm going to color these yellow dots. That one's going to make it a little bit more orange. My pumpkin pie is dying, so it's, you can barely see the difference. And then I used my shaded spruce blend to color, come on, um, this yellow one to make it green. 
and the yellow shines through it. So it's not as green as this, but you can tell it is now green. All right, so Pokey Tool. <laughs> Waterloo, Indiana. I'm going to have to find a map. That, oh, I should have used a bigger one. Oh, well. Waterloo, Indiana. All right, put this down here. Boom. Love this card. Let. So I'm getting old, says the almost 69 year old. <laughs> what, the double glasses? I'm assuming you're referring to. Yes, I know. But look at that. Is that like an easy card? It, yeah, this part probably takes the longest. Here's the one I did this afternoon with the bubbles. But then I decided uh, I didn't like the gluing of it. it wasn't making me happy. Oh, my dad got his stair lift. Shut up. Sorry, I just saw a picture. I'm like, my mother doesn't send me pictures. What's going on here? Oh, my dad got his chair lift. Oh. oh, all right. I don't know. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yay. Oh, I'm so excited. Dad, he's safer now. Those stairs, you guys. The house is like 60 years old and the stairs, uh, you have to be a mountain goat to climb them. They're so steep. Oh, that's wonderful. Yay. That's my card. Is that it? That's all. Okay, good night. That's all I prepped was for this one. But um, we could do, like I say, you could do all the same color, monochromatic. Like I could, I could sit here. Okay, we could do this. We could do this. Oh, the, the guy was supposed to come yesterday and uh, I guess he was sick. So he didn't come. And that made me sad because I thought, oh, do we have to wait another week? You know, it's another week that dad might fall down the stairs I know I'm so excited okay all right so let's just see like if we were to do all the green and I mean you could really mix up the the placement you guys like it's just please play along and show me some different placements that you did like space them differently could go like that and then again with the celebrate or the happy birthday so here's the happy birthday where is my here I do happy birthday oh, I am going maybe 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 that's why I was anxious today I don't know yes oh it's not even so much easier Mary as safer honestly like there were times where I'm like uh oh he's like up he's got two stairs to go and he's like I can't go any further. Like, what do you mean you can't go any further? You have to go further. Like, that's not an option, you know. And but he's he's got weak legs, and it's it's just so dangerous. One misstep, and uh, down he goes. And then he would take mom with him, right? Like, it's just been it's just dangerous. Oh, that's awesome! Yay! All right. Okay, so this is the happy birthday, and this is also from the wanted to say. Holy cow, you guys, I am so hyper. I don't know why. What else did we do this weekend? Nothing. So Alicia and I went to Costco. She's working right now. Rebecca had to work. And, um, oops, Craig and I had the day off. Well, I didn't have the day off. I worked and then I went to Costco. I mean, I work, right? I'm my own boss. Okay, so how about, hi, Lena. Lena, if you have trouble, okay, like seriously, I'm doing this. Um, if anybody has trouble using their uh, their coupons, reach out to me. See, now these, I don't like the stitching on when it's upside down because it's not as nice as this side. So part of me wants to use all green. Can I do all polka dots? Does that make anybody uncomfortable? Kind of looks like the measles. Maybe I'll do two... We'll do. Anyway, Lena, try them again. Um, when you guys go to use your coupons, make sure there are no spaces where they shouldn't be. I guess it's not case sensitive, so you can do it in upper or lower, but the spacing and the dash is definitely necessary. Okay. I think that's a cute layout. 
Oh, Teresa, your mom is back at Tofio residing in the hospital now waiting to hear from so mom can rehab there properly. I'm tired. No doubt you are. No doubt, Teresa. It's tough, hey, having the aging parents. And I mean, Craig and I are, we're blessed that all of our, all four of our parents are still with us. There are some significant health issues um, going on right now, but uh, there are a few of us. So Craig has a brother and a sister. And there's me and Craig. My brother's in BC, but he will fly out and drop a hat. If I say you need to come, he will be here. Um, tickets are fairly cheap. He can get here fairly quickly. Maneuvering stairs. Yeah. I doctored him. It's crazy, Mary. It's crazy. That's why I swear. That's why we all, why people have to retire is so that we can get to all these darn appointments. Hey, okay. So I'm just spacing these different, different, um, different gaps and different heights just for some visual interest. Uh, you know, texture, spacing, um, embellishments, just something that's unexpected is pleasing to the eye. So different heights and different spacing. And you could pop these up on dimensionals, but really that one, you couldn't really tell. Where in BC? Uh, Cindy, he's in um, Seashelt, right? Sunshine Coast, Beachcombers, all that jazz. Yeah, they've got a lovely property there, complete with bears and all the things. Okay, this one I'm going to put over here. Yeah, he is. It's funny. My brother and I are really polar opposites from each other. Like, take me and absolute reverse is my brother. He is laid back. He is chill. He doesn't say much. He's just, he's an old soul. He's, he's the observer. He's the wise old owl and I'm the young chihuahua. We are, you wouldn't believe that we were related. We're so different. <laughs> he's a musician, an amazing musician. He's so smart. So smart. He built a music studio. Um, yeah, so if you're ever out on the Sunshine Coast, you might hear him playing in the bands, and yeah, he has, he built a record, who builds a recording school? My brother, he, re he builds a recording studio in his backyard, yeah. Mm -hmm. Crazy. All right, and then the happy birthday could go over here, could go over here, could go, I could just go anywhere. I kind of want it, where do I want it? In the middle? I kind of want it over to the right. I don't know why I do. What do you think? Where do you like it best? Left, center, probably center, right. Vote now. Oh, Powell River. That's right, Valerie, of course. That's where Stephanie is. Okay, I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals. Um, vote now. Lots of bears, hey? Ooh. Oh, no. Today, Pat? Oh, Lord, you stop that. Pat, you're coming to the social on Saturday, right? And if you need a ride, you let me know. To the right, to the right, to center, left, left. <laughs> Happens every time. Center, right, right, left, left. Mm. Center. <laughs> so, so far it's even. Happens every time I ask. It's always split, right? Center, center. I think I've got more centers. Okay, good. Left says, hi, Hope. Hello. I want another dimensional. Left. It's going to just kind of fall where it falls, I'm thinking. Anybody else want to chime in? All right, let's go left. This one's for you, Hope, and everybody else who said left. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hi, Princess. How are you? Okay, now I could do a black bow. I could do a white bow. I could do all kinds of different... Um, no, you know what? Let's do... Sparkly green bow. Should we do a sparkly green bow? Oh, squirrel. Here's a nice card. A nice fall card. It's beautiful, Tamara. Thank you. If you uh, spend money with me this month, which is what month is this? August. You will get a tutorial, and that is one of the one of the fifteen cards. I think. I think there's fifteen of us. Maybe twelve. I don't know how many. One of a whole bunch of uh, cards. Tutorial. 
made your four. Excellent. Yay, Ida. Ida, Ida. Do you know what? I'm getting a headache from these glasses. I want to wear these ones. Oh, that's better, I think. Let's do a green bow. Green bow, Alabama. Green bow. It's from Forrest Gump, right? Go back to Greenbow, Alabama. All right. All right. All right. We had a horrible storm. Oh, no. 80 miles an hour wind. Power until 12 minutes. Oh, before time for me. Oh, my. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mary. Aw. Oh, no. Aw. You know what? Funerals and celebration of lives, uh, they're so important for the closure for those who are left behind, honestly. Um... I had a friend die many years ago and there was no anything and uh, I really should have been in therapy because I realize now that for four or five years I was pretty messed up. I uh, I didn't get the closure and uh, I really needed it. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that Mary. All right so there's a bow there and let's see 750 okay I'm not gonna make these other 14 and then I could do could do some I don't think it needs it I think we're good I don't, it doesn't really need any more bling well I could because I like my bling yeah now these ones so this is the light I think this is supposed to be the um, parakeet party it's not very it's not very bright nor is the Tahitian Tide, but that's okay. Okay. Something like that. Like how, it's just, it's a fun layout. I love it. Yeah, I saw that, Jennifer. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's been a rough, it's been a rough, uh, rough go for my friends lately, I tell ya. Pets are passing and relatives are passing. I guess it's all part of the journey on this big ball we're spinning on, hey? Thanks for tough for the rest of us, though, right? All right. There we go. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Celebrate. Celebrate. I mean, you can do so much just with your scraps. And I hope, I hope you play along. Now, um, a few things I need to tell you. What do I need to tell you? I need to tell you a couple things. Don't run away yet. Okay. Um, I'm going to post a picture uh, of my cards. And then if you did pl uh, play along, I would love for you to um, post them in the comments below. It would be great if you watermark them just because if so like you never know. Somebody might fall in love with yours and they might copy it. And it would be really swell if they gave you the credit. But if you don't have it watermarked, then they can't. Um, even if you just put your name on a piece of paper, you know, and copyright stamping up, then at least they'll um, they'll know who to try to find. Um, now, ladies uh, and gentlemen, extravaganza. It is uh, the deadline to register is less than a month away. My pre-order is due to come on Friday. I can't show you the inside of the catalog to show you what the stamp set included is or any of the items that were included in your swag, but I can show you my originals. Right, so I've got the stamp set is coming and the ribbon is coming and all the stuff is coming. So I can show you that. But you only have until September 4th to register. It's a hard, hard deadline. Um, it's $100. You can also upgrade to $144, to $178, to 133 There are options and that's in the link. Um, you need to be on my newsletter. Uh, I actually pulled it up so I could copy and paste the newsletter. Tracy is standing by. She, um, she does all of, she does so much. She does it all with tracking and sending out, um, uh, all the information. So let me just, you need to be on my newsletter and I am going to paste that in here. Sign up for my newsletter, please. And then you will get all the information and the links to register. I'm sure Tracy is posting it as we speak and I'm going to, so here's my newsletter link. Uh, get on the newsletter. And um, what else? Right now, 30, uh, 10 to 30% off all of our kits. Our, our kit included, our all-inclusive kits are 10 to 30% off. 
If you shopped in July, you can redeem those $6 coupons in August. If you have problems with that, seriously, Lena, if you have a problem with that, um, with making that work, please reach out to me. I'll, uh, I'll work on that. Uh, yes, I watermark. It's good. That's what I use, Pat, is I watermark on my phone. I think that's all right now. Uh, I'll have more to say Friday morning, um, but I am sending a newsletter this week. So please go to that link, sign up, subscribe for my newsletter. Heather, I'm not sure if you subscribed. I'm going to look for your name in my, in my subscriptions, but um, I don't know what else to say. I think I've said enough. It is 7.54. I'm a couple minutes early, but um, I think I'm exhausted now. So I'm going to take pictures of my cards and I'm going to post them. <laughs> um, thank you for hanging out with me. That was fun. I'm exhausted. Seriously. Uh, once I wind down, maybe I need a cup of tea. See you Friday morning, 10 o'clock for coffee break right here. Thank you, Tracy. Register for the Christmas extravaganza. Yes. And the link is right there. So, uh, but get on my newsletter, newsletter list and then the link will be in my newsletter. So, uh, host code, Debbie Bishop, you absolutely can. Um, if I knew what it was, it is not in my hang on I should write that down hang on Debbie shall I just message you um hang on I do have it in my newsletter hold on Debbie it would be I sent you a newsletter I think Debbie did you get oh maybe you didn't get it yet a newsletter hang on it's coming it's coming do do Oh, I have classes. I've got all the things. I've got all the things. And I don't know if this is the right link. So sign in. Hang on. It's coming. If you need to go, go. Oh, for heaven's sakes. This now it wants me to use my fingerprint on the skin. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Sign in. All right, I'm getting there. And hello, Debbie. <laughs> Ordering. La la la. I'll get there. I will. I know I will. Modify existing order. Here we go. I'm there. It's coming. I'm going to copy and paste it right now. So you go to tamarabertram.stampinup.net. And I'm going to put it right here. There's a host code. Y V X S Q G three V. Holy cow. <laughs> uh, Mary, can you, there's a link just above. Um, I'll post it again, but if you find the link to, it's about 12 comments up, uh, posted by Tamara and it's, um, there's a link there to my newsletter and to you betcha. Okay. That's it. Um, hi Susan. Yes. Catch the replay. It was a good one. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for popping in and spending time with me. Um, thank you, Debbie. I'll see you Friday morning for coffee break, 10 a.m. Mountain Time, right here. Have a good night.